Good evening and welcome to City News. Dozens came together tonight to mourn the loss of St. Anne's Church following a four alarm fire that destroyed the historic building and the artifacts inside. The prayer vigil was also a time for the community to look ahead to the future of the parish. New life comes out of death and that is a message that we need to hold to so dearly. In front of the charred remains of the church, neighbors, parishioners and politicians were among those who gathered to share their memories of the building that was constructed from 1907 to 1908. You walked in and there was a beautiful feeling of peace and joy and spirituality. My wife's funeral was here and it's a shame that it's in the news now when it should have been in the news for years. It's a place of immense historical value. Designated a national historic site, the Anglican Church housed murals painted by members of the Group of Seven, the only known religious works of the group according to historians. So this uh, church stood out because of the concentration of art within it. So we're not only talking about painting, but we're also talking about mosaics and we're talking about stained glass. For Mary Lou Harrison, who formerly worked at the church, it's more than just a building. St. Anne's is about its people. It's also about its beautiful art, but not just that. And I think that part will continue. I've been talking to Father Don and the vision to continue to be a place for contemporary Canadian art, including Indigenous art and the concept of rebuilding, but not necessarily recreating. A GoFundMe has been set up aiming to raise $1 million for the church. And Mayor Olivia Chow is confident the spirit of St. Anne's will prevail. A rising out of it could be something beautiful. Emergency crews were called to the church on Gladstone Avenue near Dundas Street West just before 8 Sunday morning as thick black smoke began billowing through Little Portugal. No injuries were reported. Toronto Police and the Office of the Fire Marshal say they are still investigating the cause.